when we're trying to manifest something into existence there's going to come a point where we feel lots of doubt where we think that there's no point in trying to go after the manifestation anymore where we start thinking why did i even go after this in the first place what's the point of this am i really cut out for this and that's completely normal in the manifestation process. The key is to understand that this is a part of the ego and this is something that will come up. And when you understand how to deal with this doubt in the manifestation process, what you'll be able to do is actually let it go and continue on with the thing that you're trying to manifest. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five different ways to deal with doubt in the manifestation process. And five different things you need to understand and also things you can do to really let go of this doubt in the process of manifesting. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for free consultations. You got to realize doubt is a completely normal part of the process. And in the manifestation process, you're going to start doubting yourself, thinking, why am I even doing this? What's the point? And that's normal. It's just important to understand how to deal with that. And the first thing you can do is have a frame of mind where it's almost like the universe is testing you. It's almost like the universe is trying to see, does this person really think that they're worthy enough for the manifestation? That's the frame of mind that you want to have because if you start to think about it like you're a victim and you know why is this happening to me it just slows you down so think about it like a test think about it like the universe is seeing is this person are you really worthy of manifesting because you thought you believed at the beginning that you could actually manifest but because you're not seeing the manifestation now you start to doubt yourself now you start to think am i really going to be able to manifest this thing into my life now you're thinking am i really worthy enough of this manifestation and what you got to understand is that's just the ego playing games think about it like the universe actually testing you imagine the universe is testing you and seeing is this person really worthy does he really believe because that's the fine line right there in that moment when, when you doubt either you believe in the doubt and you let it take you over and you don't manifest. Or you, you actually see it as a test and you don't fall into victim and you start to see like, okay, I can actually fall into this doubt or I can see it for what it is and I can see it as a test. Because that's all it is, is it's a test. It's trying to see how worthy you think you are. The universe is trying to ask you and see is this person really worthy? Are you really worthy of this? Are you going to believe in your ego? Are you going to believe in the doubts? Or are you going to see that doubt for what it really is? Now, the second thing you can do is understand that so many people allow that doubt to consume them and then they self-sabotage. This is what people do. They allow the doubts to consume them to such a high degree that they fall into this, this, they, they, this mentality where they're a victim. They self-sabotage themselves. They go back into the old way of being. Now, are you gonna let that happen to you? If you look at so many different people trying to manifest something into their life, maybe you start a YouTube channel, maybe you start a business, maybe you start a career path of some kind, maybe you go after some art. There's that specific point on the journey where you experience such a high level of doubt. And this is what happened to me actually the last couple days. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be more vulnerable. I actually started to experience a lot of doubt in my experience. And I was thinking, you know, why am I even going after this? Why is this happening to me? And it was weird because I was able to see those thoughts for what they were. Like, it's not even scary for me to be vulnerable to you right now. And I don't, I don't usually do this, but I had those thoughts. But the thing is, those thoughts don't have to consume me because they have nothing to do with who I am and my manifestation and what I want. It's just thoughts and it's just the ego trying to self-sabotage. That's all it is. And so many people in the manifestation process allow that self-sabotage to take them over and then they go back into the old way of being. They don't manifest. 
This is where you see people post videos for a month and then they stop posting. Why? That self-sabotage is just trying to keep you stuck where you've been at your whole life. It's the ego trying to stay stuck in its patterns because that's the ego, right? The ego doesn't want to stay comfortable. You got to understand that so many people self-sabotage, don't let it happen to you. That's the second thing you can understand. That's the second way to deal with doubt is understand that so many people self-sabotage, don't let it happen to you. Just understand that. See it for what it is. It's easy to see self-sabotage in other people. Can you see it in yourself? That's the serious question. You can see it in all the other people to go, oh, that person didn't go after the dream. Oh, they're not taking action. How about you? How about when you're in the midst of the self-sabotage, can you see it for what it is? Are you going to fall into victim? Are you going to be consumed, lose your state of being, lose yourself, lose your selflessness, lose your connectedness to being? Are you going to lose that? Are you going to go after that thing that you want anyways and ground yourself and just slow down and realize that's just self-sabotage trying to self-sabotage trying to keep you stuck. That's all it is. Self-sabotage wants to keep wants to keep you stuck. That's all it is. It doesn't want you to succeed. It doesn't want you to grow. I know that your higher self wants to grow. Our higher selves know exactly the path that's for us, but hey, guess what? Our ego doesn't necessarily know that always. It falls back into the old way of being. It falls back into the old sense of self. So the second thing you can do is understand that a lot of people self-sabotage. Don't let that happen to you. Now, the third thing you can understand is that the ego is going to play tricks and it's going to play games with you and it's going to spit thoughts at you that are trying to convince you why it's not a good idea to keep going. And it's just the ego playing games. So the third way to deal with doubt when manifesting is to understand that all the ego wants to do is just to keep you stuck. That's all the ego wants to do. The ego just wants to keep you stuck. The ego doesn't want you to grow. The ego will play devilish tricks on you. It will play tricks on you trying to keep you stuck. It will play tricks on you, spitting thoughts at you, making you think that you shouldn't continue on the manifestation when those thoughts aren't true, those emotions are not true. It's, it's like you had this belief, right? You knew that the manifestation was coming. You felt into it. And now external reality is not showing you that reflection. And now you're feeling doubt, right? Now, here's the thing. Again, this is the point right now. If right now you're experiencing doubt, this is the point. This is the point right here. Either you overcome this and you manifest or you let the doubt consume you. But you see, the doubt is not what stops you from manifesting. It's the belief in the doubt and being consumed in the doubt, believing the doubt to be who you really are, that is what blocks manifestation. And that's the ego playing games. That's the ego playing tricks. That's the ego trying to stop you. That's the ego trying to convince you why your manifestation is a false dream. That's your ego trying to convince you why you shouldn't keep going. That's your ego. That's the old way of being. Think about it. You've been conditioned a certain way for how many years? How many years have you been living in the same patterns? Now you're becoming more conscious, maybe going through your awakening and you're becoming conscious of those patterns and you think it's just going to go away just like that. No, the doubt's going to try to creep back in. And that's the game that the ego tries to play. The ego tries to play that game. Now the question is, do you have to play that game? Do you have to play the game of the ego or can you see the doubt for what it really is and realize, you know what? I'm not going to play this game. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to choose to not play this game. I'm going to choose to just surrender. I'm going to choose to allow this doubt to be there and not actually allow it to consume me. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to slow my life down. I'm not going to be consumed by this doubt. I'm going to see it for what it is. You got to understand your ego doesn't want success. Your ego doesn't want success. I know that you that you want success. I know that your higher self wants success. But here's the thing. Your ego doesn't actually want success. Your ego doesn't want success. And I hate to say that. I hate to say that because 
You think that your ego wants success? No, your ego doesn't want success. Your ego wants to stay stuck in the same way of being that it's been living and that's the nature of the ego. The nature of the ego is to stay stuck in a perpetual loop. It's still gonna change, but it's changing into the same way of being that it's been living in 20, 20 30, 40, 50 years. Do you wanna live into that same way of being that you've been living? Do you wanna let the ego self-sabotage you? Or do you wanna see the doubt for what it really is and continue on anyways with your focus, with your intention, with your knowing that the manifestation is coming. That deep knowing in your heart that the manifestation actually is coming. That deep knowing in your heart that it is coming no matter what your ego says. Because your ego could say this, it could say that, you could be in a low vibration, you could be in a high vibration, you could be thinking these thoughts, you could be thinking those thoughts. Hey, do you have to believe in those thoughts? Do you have to believe in those thoughts or are they just ego patterns, right? That's all it is, patterns rising up to the surface, trying to pull you back into the old way of being. You gotta understand your ego doesn't want success. Observe the patterns for what they are. It's just a pattern. It's not you, it's not you, it's not who you really are as consciousness. It's not who you really are as the formless being that can observe all form, that has the infinite intelligence and potential to manifest anything. No, that doubt is not any of those things. Doubt is just trying to stop you from manifesting. Doubt is trying to keep you stuck and not allow you to go to the next level. That's all doubt is. Doubt is just you falling back into something that you, that is coming up that you think is you when it's not you. It's just doubt. Is doubt actually who you are or is it just an emotion and a feeling and a thought? Think about this for a second. Think about this for a second. Is doubt you or is it just an emotion and a feeling and a thought? That's all doubt really is. It's just an emotion and a feeling and a thought. It's a collection of stuff. Is that stuff you? No, that's the part of you that doesn't want to succeed. That is your ego because you think it's you. That's the ego. The ego thinks this is me. No, that's not you. That's just stuff trying to stop you from actually manifesting. Now, <clears throat> the fourth thing you can do is to see the doubt for what it really is, okay? See the doubt for what it really is. So the first thing was see the universe is testing you. Just understand the universe is testing you. The second thing was understand that a lot of people try to self-sabotage themselves, don't do that. The third thing was your ego wants to play games and play tricks with you. Understand these three things. That's the first three things. Now the fourth thing is see the doubt for what it really is. Just see it. Just look at it. Just see it. Is the doubt really you? You gotta see it. You gotta actually look at it. And it's not easy, right? Because the aware you want to yeah, I need to focus on the manifestation. I need to focus on what I want. No, no, don't focus on the manifestation for just a little bit. I know that you really want to focus on that. I get it. But listen, if you're a doubt, that's a lower vibrational state of being. That's not a high vibration state of being. That's the that's not even your fault. Doubt is not even your fault. When I experienced doubt the last three days, that's not my fault. That's my ego trying to convince me why it's not a good idea to continue. So see the doubt for what it really is. Just see for what it is. That's all you gotta do. It's not that hard. It seems hard. It seems difficult. It doesn't seem like you wanna look at it. I totally understand, but you gotta just look at it, see the doubt for what it is. It's just your ego playing games. It's just your ego trying to keep you stuck. It's just your ego trying to block you from your higher self path that knows exactly where you need to be going, that knows exactly the exact divine inspiration you need to go to the next level of your life and attract that thing that you're trying to manifest. It's just that simple. Now, instead of focusing what you want, which is what the ego wants to do because it doesn't want to feel the doubt, see the doubt for what it is. See it for what it is. Look at it right in the eyes. Don't be afraid of the doubt. Look at the doubt in the eyes and look at it and say, wow, that's not who I am. That is just doubt. Be with that doubt. 
And then when you look at it long enough, when you're just being with that doubt, what you'll find is that you can actually see that doubt for what it is and then guess what? Then it goes away. Then it actually goes away. It's not real unless you believe that it is. Okay, this is gonna be really big. This is a big, very important part of the video that you need to pay high attention to right now. This piece in the video right now, if you're watching this far, this, <clears throat> this is the most important part of the video right now. This present moment that you're watching this video, listening to me speak right now, me and you right here, this is the most important part of the video. It's not real unless you actually believe that it is. Now listen closely. If you believe that doubt is real and you think that doubt is stopping you from manifesting, then that is what you are manifesting. That is the reality that you are creating because you believe that doubt to be real. You believe that doubt to be who you are. So it's not real unless you actually believe that it is. And if you believe that it is, then that's the reality that you create. But if you see the doubt for what it is and you don't believe in it, then you don't manifest that. You observe it, you see it for what it is, you let it go, you bring back your focus and your intention to what you prefer to manifest instead. Sometimes it's not just about focus on what you want, it's about seeing the blocks that are blocking you from what you want and seeing those blocks for what they are. Because if you're just focused on what you want, but you're neglecting the old parts of you that are trying to rise up to the surface and you don't let them go, that's going to be what blocks you from manifesting. So you can't just think of affirmations, I'm, I'm successful, I'm abundant, I'm amazing, this is beautiful 10, 10 hours a day, and then not observe the resistance and then let go of that because that old part of your ego is always gonna try to self-sabotage and let you, until you let that go. So when you're trying to focus on your manifestation, when you're trying to use an affirmation, you don't believe in it, you observe doubt, see it for what it is. It's not real unless you believe in it. And if you believe in it, that's the reality that you create. And that's the timeline that you enter into because you unconsciously lost your state of being and you attach to the doubt. This is what blocks manifestation. This is what doesn't allow most people to manifest their realities into existence because they're too attached to doubt literally attached, thinking that it's them. No, it's not you, it's just a pattern rising to the surface. That's all it is, it's a pattern. See the pattern for what it is, let it go, and bring your focus back to what you prefer. And the fifth part of this whole process, the fifth way to deal with doubt, is to stay focused and trust your path and process. If you're watching this video this far, you probably have been through some elements in your life where you've trusted the universe to some degree, where you're, you, you were focused and you were having that intention. You did at some point have the vibration and belief that yes, I can manifest this thing. Yes, I can create this into my reality. And now you're experiencing doubt. All you have to do is just realign yourself. Slow down, okay, slow your energies down see the doubt for what it is, observe the doubt, and now what you do is you stay focused on your path and you trust your path. You've already been through so much trusting, then keep going with that trust. Especially when you feel like it's not time to keep going and to keep trusting, that's exactly when it's time to keep going and to keep trusting that your manifestation is coming. Otherwise, you create a reality where you think that you shouldn't trust and then that's the reality that you create and that's the thing that actually blocks the manifestation. You thinking that you shouldn't be trusting anymore is the exact mentality that is going to block you from that thing that you really want to manifest. You see, doubt and fear and lower vibrational emotions are the number one dream killers. It's the number one manifestation blocks. When you let them go, now you're more in alignment. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you wanna work with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, hit the link that's in the description box of this video. Have yourself a great day as always, and I'll see you in the next video.